Welcome to National Board of Accreditation Evaluation Guidelines for Undergraduate Engineering Programs with Indicative Exhibits or Context to be Observed or Assessed for the Self-Assessment Report under Tier 1 Institutions from July 2024 document. Here we will see Criterion 1 that is Outcome Based Curriculum evaluation guidelines you can recall once the criteria wise summary first we are having program level criteria and eight criteria first one is outcome based curriculum uh, 120 marks criterion 2 outcome based teaching learning 120 then criterion 3 outcome based assessment 120 then criterion 4 students performance 120 then criterion 5 faculty information 100 then criterion 6, faculty contributions, 120. Then criterion 7, facilities and technical support, 100. Then criterion 8, continuous improvement, 80. Then institution level criteria, ninth criteria, student support and governance, 120. Total marks are weightage across all the nine criteria is 1000. Let us move to the criterion one, outcome based curriculum, total weightage is 120. That is divided into the following sub criteria. First one, 1 1.1, vision, mission, and program educational objectives, 35. Again, that is divided into the following sub criteria. 1.1.1, .1 state the vision and mission of the institute and the department, five marks. Then 1.1.2, state program educational objectives, that is PUS of the program, five marks. Then 1.1.3, process of defining vision, mission, and PUOs, 10 marks. Then 1.1.4, dissemination of vision, mission, and PUOs, 5 marks. Then 1.1.5, mapping of PUOs with mission, 10 marks. Then 1.2, curriculum structure and features, 30 points. Again, those are all divided into the following sub criteria. 1.2.1, state the process for developing or revising the program curriculum. 10 marks. Then 1.2.2 curriculum structure carries 10 marks. Then 1.2.3 components of curriculum carries 5 marks. Then 1.2.4 strategies for education reforms 5 marks. Then 1.3 program outcomes, program specific outcomes with their mapping with courses total 20 marks. So this is again divided into the following two sub criteria 1.3.1 program outcomes and program specific outcomes, five marks. Then 1.3.2, mapping between the courses and program outcomes, as well as program specific outcomes, 15 marks. Then 1.4, course outcomes and course articulation matrix, 30 marks. That is again divided into 1.4.1, course outcomes, semester-wise, 15 marks. Then 1.4.2, course articulation matrix, 15 marks. Then 1.5 program articulation matrix, 5 marks. Total criterion 1, outcome based curriculum, rate is 120. Now let us see criterion 1, metric wise evaluation guidelines. So as we already seen in criterion 1, outcome based curriculum 1.1, vision, mission, and PUOs, 35 marks. In that the first sub criterion is 1.1.1, state the vision and mission of the institute and the department, 5 marks. For this, let us see the evaluation guidelines. So here, the five marks are divided into the following A, B, C. First, A, availability of the vision and mission statements of the department, one mark. Then appropriateness and relevance of the statements carries two marks. Then consistency of the department vision and mission statements with the institute vision and mission carries two marks. So the five marks are divided into the following uh, three parts A, B, C with one, two, two writers. Then uh, during the NBA visit, so what we have to exhibit or context to be observed or assessed by the NBA peer team. First for vision and mission statements of both the department and institute will be observed or verified. Then a uh, second point, correctness from the uh, definition perspective will be verified. Then the third one, Consistency between institute and department statements shall be verified. So these are all the evaluation guidelines for 1.1.1 that is state the vision, mission of the institute and the department. 
then 1.1.2 state program educational objectives of the program five marks the evaluation guidelines for this are given below so here listing of the program educational objectives so three to five of the program under consideration and their appropriateness so carries five marks so what exhibits or context to be assessed or observed availability of the PEOs and the correctness of the PEOs statements. Uh, these documents will be verified. Then 1.1.3 process of defining vision, mission and PEOs carries 10 marks. So these 10 marks are uh, divided into two parts. That is part A. First, a description of the process involved in defining the vision, mission of the department carries 6 marks. Then part B description of the process involved in defining the POs of the program carries four marks. Then the exhibits or context to be observed or assessed. Here, documentary evidence which demonstrate the process ensuring effective participation of internal and external stakeholders along with effective process implementation. These exhibits or context to be observed or assessed during the paid team visit. Then 1.1.4, dissemination of vision, mission, and POs carries five marks. That is again divided into the two parts, part A, adequacy in respect of publication and dissemination carries three marks. Then part B, process of dissemination among stakeholders carries two marks. Then what are the exhibits or context to be observed or assessed? The first one for adequacy with respect to publication and dissemination, so, department vision, mission, and program educational objective should be available on your institute website under the relevant program link, whichever you are applying. Additionally, they should be posted on department notice boards, HOD's office. Further, they should be included in department level documents like it may be a lab manual, it may be a syllabus book, or it may be a student project report, it may be student lab records. So, etc. and the course of study that is a curriculum then for part b process of dissemination among stakeholders so here the documentary evidence outlining the process ensuring awareness among internal and external stakeholders so including effective implementation then 1.1.5 mapping of POs with mission carries 10 marks the evaluation guidelines are given below these 10 marks are divided into the following two parts. Part A, preparation of a matrix of program educational objectives and mission statement. Five marks are there. Then consistency or justification of the correlation parameters of the above matrix carries five marks. So here yeah, the exhibits are context to be assessed or observed. For first one, for the matrix of PUS and mission statement. Availability of a matrix which contains PUS and mission. Then documentary evidence for justification for each statement mapped in the matrix. So this can be exhibited or uh, uh, observed or assessed by the field team. Then uh, coming to the next sub criteria of criteria 1.2, curriculum structure and features which carries 10 marks. This is divided into the following sub criteria. The first one, 1.2.1, state the process for developing or revising the program curriculum carries 10 marks. The evaluation guidelines are for this. So, periodic review through search conferences or curriculum development workshops, identifying job roles, etc. By taking into account, then the PUOs and PSO shall be considered. Then, involvement of the industry in this process also required. So, what exhibits or context to be observed or assessed? the documentary evidences which demonstrate the process by which the program curriculum evaluates, evolves and undergoes periodic reviews. So taking into consideration of program outcomes and program specific outcomes. Then 1.2.2 curriculum structure carries 10 marks. For this, the evaluation guidelines are the courses required for the degree program and the distribution of the learning hours assigned in terms of attaining program outcomes and program specific outcomes. Then the documentary evidences of the courses, which includes teaching methods and the number of credits within the program curriculum shall be observed. 
Then 1.2.3 components of the curriculum which carries five marks. So the evaluation guidelines are verify curricular components for the attainment of program outcomes and program specific outcomes. Here the exhibits are context to be observed. Documentary evidence of curriculum components has to be shown. Then 1.2.4 strategies for education reforms carries five marks. The evolution guidelines are curriculum design in terms of various educational reforms such as multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary approaches, multi-point entry or exit options, academic bank of credits that is ABC as per uh, NEP 2020, these are all the new parameters, then skill-based courses and recognition of prior learning etc. What are the exhibits or context to be observed or assessed? Evidence of the action plan for NUP 2020, state education policy, etc., including their implementations. Additionally, map activities in curriculum design with multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary programs. Then the establishment of an academic bank of credit system and APAR ID, etc. Then 1.3 program outcomes, program specific outcomes, and their mapping with courses carries 20 marks. Again, that is divided into the following sub-criteria. The first one is 1.3.1, program outcomes and program specific outcomes carries five marks. For this, the evaluation guidelines are listing of the program specific outcomes up to three, maximum of three of the program under consideration and the appropriateness. These are all the evaluation guidelines and same thing uh, shall be verified. Then 1.3.2, Mapping between the courses and program outcomes as well as program specific outcomes carries 15 marks. The evaluation guidelines are justification of mapping between courses and program outcomes as well as program specific outcomes. What are the exhibits or context to be observed or assessed? Availability and correctness of the program specific outcomes statements. Then documentary evidence of mapping of all courses in that particular particular program curriculum with the program outcomes and program specific outcomes. Then 1.4 course outcomes and course articulation matrix carries 30 marks. Again, that is divided into 1.4.1 course outcome semester wise, which carries 15 marks. For this, the evaluation guidelines are availability of appropriate course outcomes for every course in that program curriculum. What exhibits are context to be observed or assessed? Documentary evidence of appropriateness of the course outcome statements. Then 1.4.2 course articulation matrix carries 15 marks. So for this, the evaluation guidelines are availability of course articulation matrix and its appropriateness in terms of level of correlation. Here the documentary evidences of justification of appropriateness of mapping of COs and correlation levels with various program outcomes and program specific outcomes. Then finally, 1.5 program articulation matrix carries five marks for this. The evaluation guidelines are availability of mapping of courses and program outcomes as well as program specific outcomes. Here the exhibits or context to be observed or assessed. Documentary evidence of articulation matrix and relevance. So these are all the evaluation guidelines for criterion one outcome based curriculum. The official uh, references from NBA website. This is the NBA official website www.nbaind.org. So from that uh, home page you can click on accreditation documents here under tier one uh, as per new SAR you can refer uh, corresponding evaluation guidelines. In our upcoming videos, we will see criterion 2 outcome based teaching learning evaluation guidelines as per the new self-assessment report format July 2024 document for the Tier 1 engineering programs as per the graduate attributes and professional competencies version 4. So this document is available from 1st August 2024. Stay tuned to be continued in upcoming videos.